hello everyone welcome to the code angle youtube channel as we all know the angular team recently released angular 16 and i was like okay why not show you three commands that work well with angular 16 so as you can see my terminal right here i already have a directory set up so the first command i want to show you is you can now generate a standalone component out of the box that is you can integrate the standalone components right of the bat instead of either configuring it manually in the angular dot um, json file or probably inside the cs file itself or probably when you want to generate a component by running the dash dash standalone flag so to generate the standalone project all you need to do is to type in ng new and then the name of the project i'm just going to type test and then i'm going to add a standalone flag so dash dash standalone and then i'm going to generate a new angular project and when i once this has been generated i'm going to generate a new component and we're going to see if this has the standalone schematics in the ts file and as usual we get asked if we need routing i'm going to say no and i'm going to select css and the standalone component is going to get generated for us as you can see the project has been created for us so i'm going to cd into the project directory and then open it up in visual studio code and next thing i'm going to do is to generate a new component so i'm just going to generate a component called ng generate component i'm going to call it home and then let's see what happens when this component gets generated now that the component has been generated i'm going to head straight to a uh, visual studio code and then open up the app directory and then open up the home components and as you can see we have the standalone set as true and then we have the imports array which contains the common module so that means every component we generate now comes automatically as a standalone component so that's the first command i want to show you that works well with angular 16. another command i want to show is the environment command probably you want to set up your api keys or something of for different environments probably for your dev environment and your production environment so you can just run ng generate environments with an s so this is going to generate an environment folder for you where you can configure your your api keys and where you can configure your secrets so i'm going to head straight to the projects once more and as you can see we now have an environment.development folder as well as an environment.cs folder which can be the one for production and this can be for development so this is another feature i believe some of us might not be aware with as it's also a new configuration added to angular now the final one i want to show is the inline style as well as the inline templates now to generate an inline style as well as an inline template what i'm going to do is to run the command ng generates probably want a button so i'm going to say generate button and then i'm going to do the dash dash inline dash style flag for the inline style as well as the dash dash inline dash templates flag for the inline templates now previously this has been in the works in angular 14 for you to do this you need to set the inline templates you need to set it to true like equals to true for this to work and the inline style is uppercase so instead of this dash here this is uppercase like inline style equals to true but if you do this now you're gonna get an error so this is how we have it same thing applies to the inline template you need to set it as true while making the the template that is the t in the template as uppercase and setting it to true so i'm going to press enter as you can see we have an error because i did not specify what we want to generate so we want to generate a component so i didn't put the c command that was why we get got an error and it should work this time around yeah as you can see our inline style and our inline components has been generated as you can see right here you have both in works and in the styles you have this so to show you how this works i can just probably change the p tag to button and then the closing tag can also be button and then for the style we can just have the configuration for the styling by setting the button text to color of red and then i'm gonna save that so to make this show we need to grab the app dot dash button tag and then add to the app component.html file clear everything inside of this file and then just add the app button selector and we need to import it as well so i need to grab the button components then add straight to the app component.cs file so import it in the import array so we need to bring it in 
and then we need to save everything we've done and to see what displays on the page we can just run ng serve dash dash open and that should compile the projects as you can see right here our compilation is complete and our button works text is red as we set it in our in our inline style and our inline component so i think that's all i want to show you for this video so i'm going to create more angular system tutorials be on the lookout for that and i'll see you again in the next one if you are new to the channel please drop a like and then subscribe to the channel so the algorithm can push this channel so thank you very much for watching adios